let g be a group and little g an element in g, we have to prove that the inverse of the inverse is g. So proof. So it's a really short, clever proof. So first notice, so note, if you take g and you start with g inverse, that's the same thing as g inverse star g, and that's equal to the identity element. And this is because g inverse is the inverse of g. Right, g inverse is the inverse of g. That means when you take g inverse and you start with g on both sides, you get the identity element. At the same time, this means that g is the inverse of g inverse. This means g is the inverse of g inverse. It asked, what does that mean? So g is the inverse of g inverse. And that's exactly what we had to prove in this problem. So again, kind of clever. So you start off by writing down this. And this is because g inverse is the inverse of g. Then you think about it from g's perspective, right? <laughs> from g's perspective, g itself, right, little g itself, is the inverse of g inverse. So if you write that down and then think about it, what does that mean? It means g is the inverse of g inverse, which is exactly what we had to show. That's it. I hope this has been helpful.